Hello, welcome to another video from GreenRate Technology. In this video, we're going to cover Citrix Zen Server Active Directory integration. We're going to start with joining the Citrix Zen Server to the Active Directory domain through the Zen Center Management Console. We'll also allow access to a group to the Zen Server from the same console. Then we'll join Zen Server to the domain via the command line options as well as allow users to access the Zen server from the command line. So we're going to start off with joining the Zen server to the domain with the Zen center interface. All right, let's see. I've got the environment set up with a Citrix Zen server as well as a Microsoft Windows Server 2008 domain controller. Uh, let's choose the Zen server that we would like to join the domain to. Uh, and then we're going to select from the tabs the Users tab. And then Join Domain. At this point, we'll provide the name of the domain. As well as the username for a, an administrative account to join the domain. And then the password. And then you'll see it's enabling Active Directory Authentication. And it'll take a couple of seconds to complete the process. Alright, at this point we can see that the specific server has been added to the domain grt.local and that the root account has uh, access to the server. Um, so let's go ahead and add a, a group from the domain that we just joined the Zen server to. And what I'll go ahead and add is the domain admins group. Um, and at this point we can see it's resolved properly as well as it's been added to the access list and it's completed. So we'll go ahead and click close. And that's uh, the, the domain admins user or group has been added. And that's it. In this section, we're going to walk through adding the Zen server to the domain via the command line. And what I've done is I've just simply SSH'd into the uh, Citrix Zen server. Uh, so that we can run the command line from here. Uh, the first command we're going to run is uh, xe pool enable external auth and then auth type equals ad and then we're going to enter in the service name and at this point, the service name is simply the uh, domain name that we're going to be adding it, the Citrix Zen server to. So in this case, it's grt.local. And then we're going to uh, enter in the user information of a, uh, an administrator with privileges to add the server to the domain. And then we'll configure the password for the user we just specified. Then we'll hit enter. And at this point, the server has been added to the domain. And um, as long as I don't receive any error prompts, uh, then I know I'm, it's been added. So at this point, we'll go ahead and add the uh, domain admins group to the uh, Citrix Zen server access list uh, so that we can have access from those specific accounts. And we're going to go XE subject dash add and then subject name um, equals. And then what we're going to want to do is enter in our quotation marks and enter in the user and close the quotation marks as in this case there's the, the space between the domain and admins and we'll go ahead and enter in enter 
and they're gonna give us a, a UUID of uh, the specific subject and then that's our user and then what we can go ahead and do is just to verify that we can go XD subject dash list and that lets us know uh, the UUID that we just saw it's the same as here uh, as well as a, a bit more information about the account um, its specific role things of that nature um, so what we're going to do is we go ahead and uh, just for the purposes of showing that it's the exact same as what we just did from the Zen Center interface, we'll go ahead and go to the Zen Center interface and we'll see that it's been joined to the domain as well as the uh, domain admins group has been added for having access to the Zen server. All right, that concludes our video on uh, Zen Center or Zen Server Active Directory integration, and I hope you enjoyed it.